to the news, President Biden said on Friday that he is, quote, convinced that Russian President Vladimir Putin has already made the decision to invade Ukraine. Putin reportedly made the decision somewhere around his ninth birthday. <laughs> he was a fun kid. <laughs> President Biden held a meeting of the National Security Council yesterday to discuss the situation in Ukraine, where they told him it's basically like washing down Taco Bell with an iced coffee. We know something's gonna happen, we just don't know when and how bad. It was announced yesterday that Britain's Queen Elizabeth has tested positive for the coronavirus. Wow, you couldn't wait just a few more weeks to hit the club. <laughs> the National Archives confirmed last week that former President Trump improperly took classified material from the White House to his Mar-a-Lago club. Also, all the copper wiring. <laughs> Ahead of President Biden's State of the Union address next week, authorities in Washington, D.C., will reportedly put additional fencing around the Capitol, which is actually all you need to know about the State of the Union. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani is set to appear in an upcoming episode of the singing competition show, The Masked Singer. I knew that couldn't be his real face. <laughs> Former President Trump yesterday launched his new social media app, Truth Social. It's expected to revolutionize the way Americans have their data stolen. According to a new survey, 22% of Americans said that they are very interested in being president of the United States for one day. When can you start? Asked one man. Because I'd love if somebody would jump in today. A dog in California was recently reunited with its family after it was missing for 12 years, or in the dog's mind, a couple hours. Everybody chill the f out. I'm I went outside. <laughs> AT&T is set tomorrow to shut down its 3G cellular network, as opposed to their 4G network, which shuts down whenever. <laughs> and finally, an athlete from Finland told reporters over the weekend that after competing in the men's 50-kilometer cross-country ski race at the Beijing Games, his penis was, quote, a little bit frozen. <laughs> Though just because he needed an excuse after he was caught warming it up. Russian President Vladimir Putin yesterday ordered troops into separatist regions of eastern Ukraine and said they were, quote, peacekeepers. Specifically, they're keeping this peace. <laughs> President Biden is set to impose sanctions after Putin ordered troops into Ukraine. From now on, Russia doesn't get the new wordle until noon. It's very easy. A Russian uh, word is very easy because it's always it's always Putin. <laughs> <laughs> Senate Judiciary Chair Dick Durbin said yesterday that his first call when Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer announced his retirement was to his committee's top Republican Chuck Grassley, and Grassley's first call was to I don't know Alexander Graham Bell. According to the latest numbers, more than half of unemployed American men in their 30s have criminal records, also vinyl ones. <laughs> the social media platform Snapchat unveiled a new feature last week that allows users to share their real-time location with friends. You can learn more about it in an upcoming episode of Dateline. <laughs> Snapchat wasn't the only thing that disappeared that day. A passable Keith Morrison. <laughs> According to a new survey, 59% of Americans prefer for toilet paper to be hung so that the next sheet comes from over the roll. And somehow, that 59% are all married to the other 41%. <laughs> the New York Times published an op-ed yesterday titled, Ignoring a text message or email isn't always rude. Sometimes it's necessary. And I think I speak for everyone when I say, K. <laughs> and finally, according to a new survey, 40% of Americans said that they don't enjoy gossiping at all, and then added, but you know who does? <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> and that, oh, that's some really good gossip. Look at them. You can't, if somebody's whispering in your ear, you can't make that face. <laughs> it's like, I have a secret. It's like, 
Like you can't do that at a barbecue and then everyone's like, what were you guys talking about? Uh, the, the potato salad? President Biden has reportedly met with at least three Supreme Court candidates in the hopes that one of them will prove worthy to join the elite group of the most respected legal minds in the country and Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> President Biden spoke yesterday from the East Room about the Ukraine crisis and said, quote, as Russia contemplates its next move, we have our next move prepared as well. Spoken like a man on the fifth row of Wordle with only two yellow squares. <laughs> I mean, Wordle is hot. <laughs> Wordle is hot to the touch base. <laughs> Russian lawmakers voted yesterday to give President Vladimir Putin the formal approval to use military force in Ukraine. Putin said the approval came with approximately 117% of the vote. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> but I could have used Wordle in that punchline. <laughs> It's hard, it's hard to follow a Wordle joke, I think that. <laughs> President Biden met yesterday with the Ukrainian foreign minister. The meeting wasn't planned. He just very quickly decided to move here. <laughs> Any good restaurants? In a new episode of a right-wing podcast, former President Trump said that Russian President Vladimir Putin's invasion into Ukraine was, quote, genius and wonderful. And I gotta say, it's a pretty brilliant way to make Putin second-guess himself. Who likes plan? Oh, boy, this is not good. <laughs> Genius. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> you, we fact check that, right? <laughs> we fact check that Putin, when he's upset, says, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I don't want to be out here looking like a... You know, right. According to a new report published in the New York Times Magazine, an aide to former President Trump described a 2019 White House meeting with Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas's wife, Ginny, as being so crazy that Trump, quote, tried to rein it in. Whoa, you know things are bad when Trump is the one trying to keep things on track. <laughs> That's like Bruce Willis telling the director, I feel like this movie has some plot holes. During a lunch in Kentucky yesterday, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said that President Biden is a, quote, thoroughly decent human being. Added McConnell, and if it wasn't for that, we'd probably get along great. <laughs> and finally, a Florida attorney was recently arrested after she allegedly stripped naked in a bar when they refused to serve her because she was too drunk. And she must be an amazing lawyer because she still talked them into a scotch and soda. Jamie <laughs> Wake of Russian President Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. President Biden today announced the full scope of sanctions against Russia, including blocks on Russian banks that hold $1 trillion in assets and their ability to do business in dollars, euros, pounds, and the yen, which explains why Russia just tried to buy a fighter jet with a picture of a bored ape. <laughs> it's good for one jet, no? Russian President Vladimir Putin declared war last night against Ukraine, and this is nice, Trump offered to host the after party. <laughs> That's right, Vladimir Putin declared war last night against Ukraine, but said that Russia has no plans to, quote, occupy. Oh, buddy, nobody has plans to occupy. We all remember when our war in Iraq was supposed to be a three-day weekend. You're like that guy who thinks he's gonna have one drink with his old college friends? No. You're gonna wake up at dawn in a karaoke booth with your socks on your hands saying, oh man, did I do islands in the stream with sock puppets? <laughs> After President Biden imposed an initial round of sanctions against Russia, the Russian Foreign Affairs Ministry warned, quote, there should be no doubt that sanctions will receive a strong response. Come on, you think you can attack us? This is America. We attack ourselves. <laughs> we good. Following last night's Russian invasion of Ukraine, the price of oil has jumped to above $100 a barrel for the first time since 2014. And I'm the second person to tell you that if your friend has a Tesla. <laughs> According to a new study, the erectile dysfunction drug Viagra can be used as a treatment for dogs with a rare eating disorder, though it's not gonna help with the embarrassment at the pharmacy. It's for my dog. <laughs> uh, an eating disorder. Well, it's rare, so you wouldn't have heard of it. 
And finally, actor Leonardo DiCaprio announced this week that he's made a significant investment in a 110-year-old champagne house. Not his first choice, but it's far. It's hard to find a 24-year-old champagne house. <laughs>